Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how to install Mario Kart Wii Custom Track Grand Prix on your Nintendo Wii, which will basically allow you to gain a lot of uh, extra custom made tracks for the game. So to get all of this up and running, we are going to need a couple of things, and the first of those is obviously going to be a Nintendo Wii console that is homebrewed. Now if you haven't yet homebrewed your Nintendo Wii, or if you don't know what homebrewing is, I have a full tutorial and guide which will appear at the top right of your screen right now in a YouTube card, and I'll also have the link down below in the video description to take you to a video that I did showing you how to get your uh, Nintendo Wii homebrewed. You're also going to need a copy of Mario Kart Wii, which is pretty obvious. You're also going to need a Nintendo Wii remote, which is, you know, pretty obvious as well. And last but not least, we are going to need a 2GB or greater uh, SD card, which we are going to need to put some files onto this and plug it into the SD card slot on the front of the console. Besides all of the other regular things that come with your, you know, Nintendo Wii, this is pretty much all that you need. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer now where I will be showing you what software that you need to download. Alright, here we are on my computer and I have opened up the website that you're going to need to download the Custom Track Grand Prix Revolution uh, software from. And it uh, can be found at chadsoft.co.uk. I will have this link down below in the video description as well. But installing this is pretty simple and it's very, you know, it's pretty much identical to installing any other homebrew application. You just have to download the uh, file and put it onto your SD card. And that's pretty much it. So what you want to do when you get to this website is just go to the download tab up here. You want to click on download CGTPR version 1.03, which is currently, as of this video, the latest version of the software. And it will take you to a mega link right here. You can see that I'm already in the process of downloading it, but you just want to click on the download button right here. This resume button would normally say download. All right, so once the file has finished downloading, you're going to want to go ahead and open it up with a program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip or even the built-in uh, extractor that comes with Windows. I'm going to be using a WinRAR right here. You're going to want to go ahead and just, you know, have that file opened up. You're also going to want to go ahead and plug your SD card into your computer and have that window open up as well. And all you have to do is just drag these files right onto the root of the SD card and they will go ahead and extract there. And you just want to let it go ahead and copy all those files over. And once it finishes doing that, you want to take the SD card out of your machine and plug it into your Nintendo Wii which I will switch over here momentarily for the next portion of the setup. All right, so here we are on our homebrewed Nintendo Wii console, and we're pretty much ready to get started. One thing that you wanna make sure before you do anything is make sure that your Nintendo Wii is on your home network. If you haven't done that already, it's you know very simple, of course. You're just gonna go into the Wii options and go to the network settings and make sure that you're on the network. And you wanna make sure that your SD card is inserted into your uh, Nintendo Wii, as you can see mine is. And after you make sure of those two things, you want to go ahead and launch the Homebrew channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Again, if you haven't installed this channel, it's a very simple process as well. And I do have that video on it, which is again down below in the video description. You can see right here, once the Homebrew channel starts up, that we have a new uh, icon for the Custom Track Grand Prix Revolution channel. Where we're going to want to go ahead and launch this. So just uh, click on it and press load. And it's going to go ahead and load that. And it's going to go ahead and prepare the SD card, as you can see. And here is uh, the little banner for the Custom Track Grand Prix channel with the author's names right there, which you know just faded away. You're going to want to go ahead and uh, select your language. So I'm going to go ahead and choose English. And it's going to say, Welcome to the Custom Track Grand Prix Revolution channel. We're going to go ahead and press A to continue. And right here, it's going to basically give you a brief summary of what that's going to do. And so it will tell you that you do need to have a card that is ideally one gig in size or greater and you're going to need a Mario Kart Wii game disc. So once you've kind of you know skimmed over this, just go ahead and press A, and you want to, of course, agree to the uh, terms and conditions, so just press down to get to the fourth page, and press A. We've totally read all of those. Yes, we accept the terms and conditions. It says, well then, without further ado, we'll go ahead and check for the latest version of the CTGP Revolution channel. So we're just gonna go ahead and press A, and it does tell you right here that there are actually two ways of keeping this channel updated. One of them is obviously just the automatic way where the channel itself will check for updates, but if you don't have internet access for some reason, you can download uh, the files on another machine and put them onto the SD card and they will be uh, automatically detected and installed from that. So we're just going to go with the easier option of just um, updating via the internet on the console. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes and it's going to download an update and it's going to ask us right here to please insert your copy of Mario Kart Wii. So I'm going to go ahead and reach over here 
and grab the game disc and go ahead and put it into the console. And once the game disc is inside of the console, it will go ahead and proceed with downloading the update. And you can see at the very bottom here in the bottom left, it will tell you how many updates that it needs. It, it originally only said one, but now it says that there's seven updates. This can take a while depending on your internet connection speed. Um, when I did this on another Wii console, it took about 15, 20 minutes to complete this whole thing. So it can take a uh, long amount of time, but again, that does depend on the internet connection that you have. One thing that I should mention about this is that uh, just the default installer here will actually install over 200 new tracks to the game without you having to do any anything else. So there are uh, extra tracks that you can get. There's like other people out there that have made, you know, modded tracks. Um, but uh, just with the you know install process here, you'll be getting over 200 new ones that are uh, installed by default uh, with the standard Custom Track Grand Prix download. So just wanted to point that out there. All right, we are back, and the installation did take about 20 to 25 minutes for me. So uh, it can be you know pretty long. It has to download you know a few different updates, but. Uh, once it finishes, you can see the right this screen and basically tells you that the main uh, installation has been completed and we're just going to go ahead and press A to continue. And at this screen right here, it's going to ask if you want to enable automatic updates and uh, verification for the uh, Custom Tracks Grand Prix channel. We're just going to go ahead and press yes to this uh, because, you know, it doesn't really hurt. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and press A to continue. Press A to continue once again. Uh, on that previous screen, it does tell you how to add uh, like your, your your custom tracks that you know you can download or make yourself. And it does also tell you about that there is a new service. You can actually play this mod online with other people, um, even though that the official Nintendo servers have been shut down for like a few years now. Um, they are using their own servers to actually host online, so you can actually do that and play this online with uh, other people, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press A to continue once again, and it's going to tell you a little bit more about uh, that online service, and it's got some more, you know, there's a lot of, of like different prompts here, it just basically tells you, you know, if you get like an error using the online thing, um, yeah, there's just a lot that it talks about. We're just going to go ahead and skim through this, and here we are at the main menu. Uh, so here you have an option to launch the game, you have some settings, a cup slash course organizer, you've got an updates manager. Uh, add the CTGPR channel and ghosts. One of the things you'll probably uh, want to do is go ahead and add the Custom Track Grand Prix channel to the Wii menu. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that and press yes. And what this will basically do is add a you know channel to the Wii menu, you know, like a little shortcut where you won't have to go inside of the Homebrew channel and then go into the Custom Track Grand Prix channel. You can just do it straight from the Wii menu. So just to show you that here, if I go ahead and exit, and you will see that we now have a new channel called the uh, Mario Kart Wii Custom Track Grand Prix Revolution. And if we go in here and launch this, this will literally just launch the channel for us without having to go into the Homebrew channel and launch it from there. So just, you know, a little bit of extra convenience that you can have. Obviously, if you don't want to add that, you don't have to go through that process. But what we're going to do now is just go ahead and once this channel starts back up, we're going to go ahead and actually launch the game and I'll show you a little bit about what comes with this and what features that it has. So the channel is loading back up here. For whatever reason, the channel shortcut was not working for me. Um, I'm not sure what that's about, but um, if the CTGPR channel on the Wii menu isn't working for you, it might be something that they have to patch or you know something like that. But what we're going to do here is just go ahead and click on launch game. And it's going to basically load the, it's actually going to apply the, you know, patches here. Um, you can still launch Mario Kart Wii normally. You just have to go through the, you know, regular disc channel and launch it that way. But running it through here basically applies all those patches. Once it comes up here, it's going to look like a pretty standard, you know, uh, like setup process and everything. Or, you know, like a loading process, I should say. But once you get to the main menu, you'll see it looks a little bit different here. So when I press A, I'm going to go ahead and just choose, choose play, or I actually don't know if I've set this up on this Wii console yet, but um, you can see that the uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi uh, service has been changed to this Wii, Wii MM5, you know, however you pronounce that. That is the service that they are using to still have uh, online capabilities in the game. And the uh, Mario Kart channel has been changed to the Custom Track Grand Prix channel. So if you click this, you'll basically go back out to the channel. But just to show you a little bit of what it adds, I'm just going to go ahead in the single player here and just show you all of the different tracks that it adds and everything. So we can go into, you know, let's just do versus here. 
we'll do just, you know just one solo race i'll go ahead and choose mario here you know I'm, I'm i'm not really actually going to race but um automatic actually i probably should chose manual whatever and what you'll notice here is you now have these two arrows you you normally just have uh, these standard tracks, I do believe there's one more row over here, but when, you know, when we click on these arrows, you can see that it will advance. And we now have some cups that aren't normally in here. So we've got like the blooper cup, the giant mushroom cup, um, just a, I mean, you can see, look at all these tracks. And these are cups, so there's four tracks per, you know, each one. There's a lot of tracks from Mario Kart versions that aren't uh, regularly in Mario Kart Wii. Um, and there's some just random custom made ones. Um, like there was one I saw that was based off of like uh, the Wolfenstein game. There's just a, a ton of cool stuff in here. So, you know, feel free to just go in here and, you know, explore everything. I've been doing that and there's just a, a, a ton of awesome tracks in here. But that is basically going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see some more videos like this in the near future. And uh, as always, I just want to thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.